Thank you very much for coming in to join us today. Well, thanks for inviting me. Um, if you'd like to talk with Dr. Goodall, uh, our number is 1-800-989-8255, 1-800-989-TALK. As always, you can surf over to our website at uh, sciencefriday.com. Let's go to uh, Sharif in Philadelphia. Hi. How are you doing? Um, it's a pleasure to speak with you. Uh, I wanted to ask you two quick questions. Um, I wanted to know if you believe there are any undiscovered uh, large ape species, and I believe that the bonobo chimpanzee is a subspecies of the chimp or a separate species. Okay, well, I'll do the second one first because that's easy. It's definitely a, another species. Um, it's, it's admitted very widely that it's, an, I mean, it's known. It's, it's described as another species. It's a bonobo, not a pygmy chimpanzee different in many, many ways. What a wild species that is. I mean, just incredible. Yeah. Right? Rich yeah. species. Very, the very things that they do that we never thought. That's right. The chimps do. Yes. Chimpanzees, bonobos, and humans genetically are equidistant. Um, as for the other, you're talking about a yeti or Bigfoot or Sasquatch. Is that what he's talking about? Yes, he is. <laughs> is, that, is that the message I'm missing here? I think that's the message you're missing. Is that right, Sherry? Uh, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of the loop. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, now, you'll be amazed when I tell you that I'm, uh, I'm sure that they exist. You, you are. Yeah. I've talked to so many Native Americans who've all described the same sounds, two who've seen them. I've probably got about, oh, 30 books that have come from different parts of the world, from China, from, from all over the place. And there was a little tiny uh, snippet in the newspaper just last week which says that British scientists have found what they believe to be a yeti hare and that the um, scientists in the Natural History Museum in London couldn't identify it as any known animal. Now, that was just a wee bit in the in the newspaper, and obviously we have to hear a little bit more about well, this that. age of DNA, if you find a hare, there might be some cells on it. Well, there will be, and I'm sure that's what they've examined. And they yeah. don't match up. What this my little tiny snippet says that don't match up with DNA cells from known animals. So, apes. Did you always have this belief that they that they that they exist? Well, I'm a romantic, so I always wanted them to exist. <laughs> All right, Sherry. Thank you. Thanks for calling.